I'm over here, Abby. Get him in the stroll. Mommy gonna go get you something to drink. You want some chicken? Get in. Let's stop and get some popcorn. So me and Abby stopped to get a snack while we wait for Derek and DJ to get off the fire man ride. And we got popcorn and orange sodas. $8.03. Still at Legoland. We're about to um, Coaster Soros ride. So you may see somebody zoom past their phone. All right, so it's 4.30. The park is about to close in an hour and a half. Only thing on my mind since I left yesterday was apple fries. I think I'm gonna try them today with ice cream. I did them yesterday with whipped cream, but um, that's the only thing on my mind right now. DJ like how the dog sounds. Strange child. Ah. Uh, that's right. That's right. All right, y'all. I'll get back with y'all after I get my apple fries. Oh. Yeah, we're in Legoland. Try these. They are bomb AF. So we're in the big shop looking at Legos. So we 
left Legoland. We got um, Abby the toy and DJ a toy. Um, we're currently waiting on Valet to come. Okay, yeah, so we're back from Legoland. We had Taco Bell for dinner. Um, these are the toys Abby and DJ got. This is DJ's. He wanted a police station. And this is Abby. She got a chicken farm. That's what she said. And they're down here now, playing with them, putting them in together with their dad. I got the police car, Derek went to the Donut Man. There's a place in Winter Haven called the Donut Man. And I was reading online. All the reviews were really, really good. So I had him get me an apple fritter. This is a glazed donut. At 5.30 in, in the morning, he went. Uh, it was very important that he get this done. This is a cronut in the back, which is a croissant donut. One of my most favorite donuts. Um, Move this out the way. What is this movie? This is another glaze right here? Um, thank you. That's another glaze he thinks, yeah. That's a red velvet donut. I don't do red velvet. And this is a twisty. So I'll be letting y'all know how those taste. Because that's what's for breakfast. So this is what the weather is looking like today. And somehow people are still going to Legoland. Um, people, this is how you get there from the hotel. You walk down this trail, and then there's a security man to check you with a metal detector at the end of this path, and then you just walk right into the park versus waiting at the long lines they have over here. Um, it's raining. The forecast for today is 90% chance of rain. It's supposed to rain all day, and um, it's 55 degrees out here. Now, I don't know what these people are used to, but even if we hadn't gone and did our second day yesterday, we just would lose a day because there's no way I'm going out there 55 degrees and it's raining. It's just ridiculous. But, um, yeah, that's what it's looking like in Winter Haven today. It's a mess, to say the least. We just came to see if they had some stuff for um, Abby and DJ. I'm gonna probably look in Forever 21 and Charlotte Roos, and then we're gonna get Mall Chinese for lunch. So, if anything interesting happens, I'll let you guys know. Of course, I should be vlogging during the rest of the duration of the day, but if anything, I'll just let you guys know and see you on the next video. All right, y'all, we um at we left Vineland because there wasn't really nothing there. So we at Millennia now. You just let them cut you off. We at um, Millennia now. Um, still looking for stuff for Abby and DJ. There I got some shirts for DJ out of Jamboree. Um, Abby had to pee, so I had to take her to the bathroom. And we got Chinese food and left after that. So um, we about to go on Millennia and see what's up in there. And then, um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys. All right, y'all, so we ended up not going to the other mall um, only because we have an 8.15 reservation for dinner tonight since it's our last night in town. And, um, excuse me, we want to go somewhere nice and have a nice family dinner the last night. So we're headed back to um, a hotel now so we can make it back there. Why is there this straight piece of hair bothering me? So um, we can make it back there. Um, that, that hair is really gonna bother me. So we can make it back there and get showered and get together so we can um, go to sleep. Pack up everything tonight so all we have to do in the morning is take the luggage downstairs and get in the car. Um, other than that, I wanted to stop at a beauty supply store up here because where I live they do not sell factor edge booster so i wanted to get some of that from a beauty supply store they have up here and look around maybe they have some lashes that they don't sell down towards that way um so yeah um i'll probably do a video when i'm in the beauty supply store 
and show you guys what they have in there. It's Rainbow Beauty Supply. So I gotta recant my previous statement. Maybe they weren't cleaning because the, the do not disturb thing was on the door because when we left out this morning, it was on the door because they made up the bed. <laughs> Derek, please. And they took out the trash. They took out the trash in the bathroom. They took them one time and they took out the trash in the bathroom. So it must have been the sign. Maybe I had the sign on the door and I didn't know the sign was on the door. But um Oh they made their bed too? Yeah. And they made an Abby and DJ bed. I, I got my hat. Well I guess that's my fault, so I won't be putting the clip. I gotta get some orange juice too. Some apple juice. Oh, I didn't even know they had those up there. I didn't know, just knew they had water. Alright, well, um, we finna get ready because we going to Ovation Bistro for a family dinner for last night. And we trying to go before Abby and DJ get tired, so. Cypress Gardens, we see you out there. So I'll um, check back in with you guys once we get dressed and we make it to the spot. So this is what Abby has on for a family dinner. <laughs> DJ, come show the vlog what you got on. This is what Derek has on. For the vlog. I mean, for family dinner. Look, let me see. No, you got to stand back. What the hell? Show, <laughs> show them what you got on. Turn around. Do a twist. Yeah, turn. Damn. Do Goodbye and good night. <laughs> and this is what I have on. With some wedges, potato if you're nasty. And this is the place we have Ovation and Bistro and Bar. It's not, we look way overdressed. It's, not, it's like yeah. a, it puts you in the mind of a Longhorn Steakhouse. Um, pretty standard menu, chicken wings, um, bang bang shrimp in a different way. You can wait on your Okay. Thank you. Chicken strips for them. Okay. So this is the old perfect margarita, and Derek got an apple tea. Um, I got apple juice for Abby and DJ. They put it in these cups. Um, Abby says she wants a hot dog, right, Mama? You want a hot dog? And DJ wants chicken strips. He over there pretending he's sleep, child. This bitch so good. Bone Queen should bring me one more. Drake menu. This is the red wine. Uh, the white. Then you have beers. They have all different kinds of beers. They have um, bottles and beers. And then they have draft beers. And then, oh, and then they have cocktails. Now, I was gonna try this one only because it has uh, 1800. Um, if you didn't know by now, I'm a huge tequila drinker, but my favorite tequila is Patron because Patron will make you feel it. Patron is strong, it's gonna make you feel it, and I love Patron. So, I ended up getting the um, old perfect margarita. Um, but they also have five dollar cocktails. Um, sex on the beach, appletini. There, I got an appletini. Hey, put your foot down. Um, the blue waves look good. Tequila sunrise looks good. But these are all probably lower shelf liquors. Where this one is probably like top shelf liquors. Because Patron is top shelf. Um, but yeah. Uh, Grey Goose is over here. 
Well, I'm trying to stay away from vodka because I just don't care for the after effects. But, um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys when the food gets here. Oh, this is a Caesar salad. I got um, green beans and oh, I got a fully loaded baked potato and a Caesar salad with mine. And this is how they bring it. It's a wedge of romaine. Caesar dressing, croutons, parmesan cheese. So, I'm going to let y'all know how it tastes. The lobster shirt. Okay, I got a ribeye. You know, I got my ribeye medium and I got a fully loaded baked potato. Every plan over a hot dog. Got chicken tenders and fries. Dad got lobster and shrimp pasta. Is it good? Mm -hmm. They got Fredo sauce? No. This is the second drink I got, you guys. This is a tropical storm carrying. What is that? I shouldn't have drunk so much. I'm feeling it now, and oh, I still got that much of my drink left, so I'm gonna have to chug this. But I'm feeling all the effects of that old perfect. That old perfect is hitting me. Okay, so we're leaving today, you guys. Good morning. I just want to point out this is the best weather since we've been up here. Um, this is like the perfect, the most perfect day to go to Legoland. And I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the line, and this is coming from the hotel. The line out there is much worse. But um, can I zoom in? I don't think I can zoom in. Oh, I can. This is the line to get from the hotel into Legoland. It's never like this. I mean, never. Since we've been here, it has not been like this. Normally, you can just walk along this path, and you're the only family walking to get checked by security. So, it's really busy today. And um, this is the line. to. This is the regular line. And this is people coming from the hotel going to Legoland, so. We leaving, y'all. All right, y'all, so we leaving. Uh, we're finna go to Hardy's now and get something to eat. Um, the hotel overall, I probably wouldn't stay at again only because I wasn't happy with the breakfast they offered. They didn't have a microwave in the room and valet takes a really long time to come valet is a good and a bad thing only because it's good because like when it rains a lot of the time we were up here so we just take our car to valet when we get back but leaving and getting the car DJ can you turn that down some can you turn that down some you gotta turn all the way up but coming out waiting for valet to come get us sometimes 10 15 20 minutes before maybe not 20 minutes 10 15 minutes there said like 10 minutes um other than that i don't have no cons about the hotel pros it was clean um the beds were kind of hard but I guess it's because it's not my bed at home and I'm used to like a really soft bed. Um, and me and DJ love the bunk beds. So that's a good thing. Legoland is packed today, you guys. Like, I'm almost glad we're not going today because it's going to be swollen in that part today. I'm looking at people parking on the outskirts of the parking lot. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Um, thank you guys for watching. Excuse my nail, it fell off this morning. Let me come back on here and clarify some things. The hotel is no, it's associated with the park, but it's not associated with the park because I love the park. The only thing I could say about the park, I wish they had rides, more rides for um kids abby's age and height because um abby's 40 inches and it's a lot of rides out there she couldn't ride um a lot of rides you got to be 44 inches or taller to ride the ride so i think abby was able to ride two rides if i'm not mistaken um whereas dj rode like almost all the rides at the park unless he was too scared to ride them he rode them 
but um it's not boring by any means it's, it's a great place to take your kids um they had fun they had the time of their lives even abby um me and abby having to wait in the top spot while derek and dj go on the rides they she loved that that was fun to her um just for me as a parent i would want more options for her because i felt like kids but that's just maybe they're gonna expand they are adding um a lego movie part of the theme park um, it's supposed to open March 27th, so we just missed it, but that looks really fun. They're going to have like a, if you're familiar with Duplo, the little pink, they have like a little pink cat. I don't know her name, but we could see that cat the whole time from our hotel room. And um, they're going to have like a, it's kind of going to be like Dr. Doom Free Fall at Universal Studios. They're going to have that, but it's going to be based around that pink cat. So that looks like fun. It's not going to take you up as high as Dr. Doom, but it still looks like fun, especially for kids. Um, as long as your kids have fun, I guess that's all that matters. It's just from a parent's perspective, I wish they had more stuff for smaller kids. Because I felt like a lot of times I got stuck with Abby in a top spot and trying to find something to do with her. Whereas Derek and DJ could go and get on the rides and have fun and stuff. So... Other than that, they had the time of their life. They had fun. It was well worth it. Well worth the money spent. Um, next time, I would not stay at Legoland Hotel. I would stay at the Hampton Inn, where I normally stay when I go out of town. Um, other than that, it was a fun trip. And um, thank you guys for watching our vlog. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs>